All right, this video is going to be about field effect transistors and nothing to do with the electronics of them. It's how do you draw them, okay? So if you've looked at my schematics, uh, I will draw a FET like this. I'm just going to use a couple lines and make it very, very simple. Uh, here's another example of a FET. Now, in the uh, first example, uh, this is a JFET, all right? And there's no way to tell from my drawing that this is a JFET unless I put a part number next to the part. Um, 2N, what is it, a 54, 57, or so, I don't know, some, some JFET part number. You, they can look up the part number and say, oh, that was a JFET. Um, or uh, some people will point out, I'm not drawing it correctly. There's different ways to draw JFETs. Um, and this one is probably an N-channel MOSFET, right? Can you tell from this? No, it looks the same as the other one. All right. So first of all, you need to figure out, well, how many different types of things will I learn how to draw? So here's a not complete list of MOSFETs or FETs, different types of FETs. There's JFETs, MOSFETs, hemp. There's different insulated gates, depletion mode, enhanced mode, uh, all different types of FETs. So do you draw them all the same or do you draw them differently? Um, well, let's take a look at the JFET. This is maybe a proper way to draw the JFET. An N-channel JFET has a little arrow going in and a P-channel JFET has a little arrow going out. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, some people draw them like the bottom left um, they don't put the arrow in the middle. They put the arrow on edge. All right. Um, okay. I don't like it that way. I like it in the middle, but okay, whatever. Some JFETs have a, uh, substrate that's brought out separately on a different wire. Some substrates are tied. Some substrates go out. Um, so this happens to be a four pin JFET, a different type of JFET. Uh, you might see some old schematics and they didn't draw them the same way as they draw them now. Um, here's somebody who drew them this way. They have uh, what looks like a little insulative layer there on the on the gate. So that's kind of a fun way to draw it. Um, so the, the left one is, a uh, again, a four-wire device. But the second one is also a four-wire device. This is a dual gate Uh JFET that you might use in a high speed circuit that you want to do a cast code amplifier and you need two gates. Um, so anyway, there's different ways of drawing it. You can see that first drawing too has an arrow going in and arrow going out and both of them two arrows going in and I don't know, it's, they're different, right? Different ways to draw things. All right. Um, so here we have different FETs. We have JFETs on the left, but then we go into MOSFETs. Ooh, they have more lines and more arrows and stuff. And then other things, ooh, one has a little circle. Oh, wait a minute. And then one kind of is more simple. So it's up to you whether you want to draw the circle or not. Okay, you can leave the circle in, you can leave the circle out. It's up to you. All right. And um, then if you take a look at the far right, the gate is a solid line and the next parallel line to it is solid. But if you look at the second column, it's the same type of part except for the little lines parallel to the gate are dashed. So you have three separate little lines instead of one long line, okay? And that's uh, uh, if you are looking at enhanced mode or depletion mode, you know which one is which. I don't. <laughs> Here's a, a here's here's a whole bunch of different types of fets, all right. All different ways to draw them, and every single one of these is different, other than you either have the circle or you don't have the circle. Uh, here's some uh, drawn, and again, you can see uh, these are made out of little dashed lines. So these are probably. Completion mode? I think, I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, so different ways. Now, now this one starts adding some other things. There might be a, what's called a bulk diode or substrate diode. 
um, and there might be a diode between the uh, uh, source and drain. And so those are included in this as well. There might be diodes that protect the gate um, and you might need to draw those in. And there might be weird things called uh, I insulated gate fets and you might draw them differently in different types of those different things. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of ways to draw these things, all right? And then there's all those other transistors, too, that you have to worry about. Um, so, the point of the video is, <laughs> why do I draw my FETs like this? Well, that's because I can't remember all of those other types, and I'm not going to go look them up. I'm just going to draw the FET, and then I'm going to either use verbal language and say, that's a JFET. I'm going to allow the user to be smart enough to look at that and say, oh, yeah, that's a self-biased JFET. Or I'll just put a part number at the end. So I'll just put a part number next to the actual FET itself, and then you can go look up the data sheet, and you can figure out what it is. <laughs> anyway, the point is that there's too many to keep track of, and it's super, super confusing.